Hi everyone, so I thought I'd put together a little sketchbook so you know exactly the structure of it and what is expected. So the first page you will see is all about AO1. You can see that there's a title page, a mood board and a mind map. Now the mind map should include every single word you can think of to do with your chosen brief. Now the second page is all about AO1 and your artist study. You will choose your artists based on your topic. Um, they must relate to your chosen topic. So you can see that she's chosen texture and Van Gogh is all about texture. Again, you can see here that there are, we're now moving on to AO2 and there are lots and lots of responses to that artist study. So you can see now continued experimentation. So they've got one page filled full of experimentation using lots of different materials and techniques. But again, on one side, you can see that they've done a full page. But then on the other side, they've just done really tiny little snippets of a response using paints, um, acrylic, etc. Again, going back to AO1. So this person has now done their second artist study on the left page. And then on the right hand side, you can see that they've now responded to that artist. Now, response is all about um, looking at the artist and deciding what bits you like the best from that work and recreating it. But like I say all the time, do not just do a carbon copy of it because I know you can already do it. It already exists. Choose your best parts, uh, the best parts of the artist's work. Again, going back to AO1. This is the third artist study and they've looked at someone that does lots and lots of landscape paintings and acrylics and she's done two or three responses using um, acetate and paint and also oil pastels. So again, it's not just one technique that she's using. She's thinking, I really like how they've done that. So I'm going to try it in my own style. And again, annotation. Please include annotation in your work. Tell me why you've done something do you like your work? How could you improve on it, etc.? Now you can see she is moving on to the experimental side of it and she's using the best, best techniques that she's learned um, and experimented with from her artist responses and she's now moving forward with her own ideas. The reason why I have included this particular sketchbook for art and photography is because this is an art sketchbook but she's included photography within it. So it's really important to know that whatever creative GCSE you're doing, please include more than one um, medium, so more than one technique. Now she's deciding what she's going to do for the further development. She's thinking, I really like how that turned out, or I may not have liked how that turned out, so now I'm going to change it up a bit and move forward with the final piece idea. And again, she's taking more photos, developing all of those ideas further. So this is now about AO3. She's taking her best techniques and moving forward with them. You will notice this is Jack House Gallery. She visited the gallery, so she got primary research and she's applying it to her own project. She's making it work within her own project. That little bit where my hand is on now, that she sewed into it. So she's introducing a new technique. Um, so that if she does want to use it in her final piece, it's all evidence in her sketchbook. Now she's moving on to AO4, where she's planning for her final piece. She's got all the information she needs from her artist studies and her responses and the development. Now she's thinking, what am I going to do for my final piece? And again, you can see here, she's got really, really tiny, small little um, pieces in her sketchbook, which show just what she could do for a final piece. She hasn't gone A3 size already. She's thinking, uh, this is just a small little snippet of what I could do. And then she's got her final piece. Now her final piece is uh, a one in size, but she took a photo of it, put it in her sketchbook and evaluated it. So she talked about what went well, how she could improve and how it linked to her artist studies. It's really important that you put how it links all together to your artists. And that is it.